Hello friends, today I would like to catch up an older video from myself, the Firestorm Sephrellis video. Because today we will decide together if you should roll Firestorm or WoW Freaks as your BFIA server and why. First of all, a small disclaimer. I did not play on WoW Freaks that much, so my opinion is based on the content from 110 to 120 on WoW Freaks without the raids, but with low key uh, mythic plus dungeons. First of all, let's compare both realms. Firestorm is currently at patch 8.2, while WoW Freaks is at page 8.3.7, but content cap to uh, 8.0.1. On Firestorm the current raid tier is the Eternal Palace, with Mythic already fully unlocked and progressed. On WoW Freaks we are still at Uldir, but already on Mythic fully progressed. With LFR on both servers are available for the corresponding um, raids. On Firestorm I raided till Crucible of Storms, so I can't really talk about the scripting of Eternal Palace so far. But if it's on the same scripting level as COS was, you're good to go with a smooth, yet sometimes a little hacky raiding experience. For Mythic Plus Dungeons, affixes and boss encounters are working great, even in the high key levels. The max key on Firestorm run at the moment is at 22 at the Teldazar. On WoW Freaks I did not raid it at all, but the feedback from the community about Uldir was overall fine. First week Uldir didn't went completely smooth, but WoW Freaks quickly made mandatory changes to Uldir. For Mythic Plus Dungeons, affixes and boss encounters I just tested in low key levels till level 6 as I already said were working fine and I didn't had any big difficulties at all. World quests are working great at both servers, with their original reverts and overall near perfect playability. War campaigns are working on both servers and island expeditions are all working on Firestorm and 7 out of 11 on WoW Freaks. However, Firestorm did not implement the island expeditions from 8.0.1, but at the end of 8.2, so just recently. On WoW Freaks, world bosses are working great, Firestorm likewise, both with their original loot table and loot rolling. Now let's get to maybe a huge game changer for everyone who hated BFA at the beginning. WoW Freaks made custom changes to their BFA realm, which I would classify as quality of life changes, which Firestorm does not have or did not had. First of all, the whole realm is based off 8.3.7 as I already mentioned and thus Titan Residium vendors are already available. The revamped auction house is already live, war mode is not phased, island expedition vendors are already available, 110 to 120 higher looms are already available, champions of Etheroth reputation is account wide already and the war campaign reputation requirements are removed. As well as for PvP, the PvP scaling is completely removed from the game. Firestorm does not or did not have these changes. They released everything Blizz-like, at least they tried. Because Island Expeditions were already released at 8.0 on retail and here at Firestorm they did got released on patch 8.2. Last but not least, what about the low level zones? The leveling experience on Firestorm from 1 to 120 was completely fine. With the Drainer and Mist of Pandaria being annoying but still completable. And BFA content overall working awesome, with here and there some minor bugs. At War Freaks I did not level it from 1 to 110 because they offer a boost to level 210 instantly to head into the BFA content directly at your start. Now, where should you play BFA? That's a question I can't answer for you. Based off the aspects I named in this video, you should decide yourself. Both servers are more than playable and great if you want to play BFA. If you want to go through the whole expansion again, roll War Freaks. If you want to play 8.2 and venture into 8.3, you should roll Firestorm. You still have enough time to catch up on Firestorm because patch 8.2 and patch 8.3 are still I mean, patch 8.2 is already released and patch 8.3 will hit in speculated two months, maybe three months and thus you have enough time on patch 8.2 to 
catch up with your character. By the way, I just forgot Wall Freaks is at PvP Season 1 and Firestorm is already at PvP th Season 3, with both servers already deep into these seasons. Hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, cheers.